Hello and welcome to this tomorrow news. North California has been rocked by another earthquake of magnitude 6 this Sunday, injuring 172 people and causing extensive damage, including fires sparked by burst gas lines. Epicenter of the earthquake was located near the Napa Valley. This was the largest tremor which rocked the Bay Area since the magnitude 6.9 Loma Prieta quake in 1989. As per USGS official reports, the tremor struck just before 3.30 a.m. Sunday local time, about 10 miles northwest of American Canyon, which is about 6 miles southwest of Napa. Depth of the earthquake was just less than 7 miles. Of the 172 patients that were admitted to Queen of the Valley Medical Center in Napa, 13 of them were severely injured with broken bones and respiratory conditions. Napa City Manager Mike Parnas said the city declared a local emergency at 8.59 a.m. Mark Gilladusi, Director of California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, said about 90 to 100 homes were deemed not habitable. The historic buildings were damaged in downtown Napa and five places were turned into rubble. According to the Pacific Gas and Electric Company, around 70,000 customers in and around Sonoma, Napa and Santa Rosa lost power. Gas leaks were also reported. The downtown was particularly hard hit. Numerous small aftershocks have occurred in the Napa wine country. To help with the recovery, the governor Jerry Brown declared a state of emergency. The earthquake triggered six major fires that destroyed several mobile homes. Dozens of water main breaks were reported. The economic loss is likely to be more than one billion according to the USGS data. The earthquake lies within a 70 km wide set of major falls of the San Andreas Fault System that forms the boundary between the Pacific and the North American tectonic plates. The persistent northwestward movement of the Pacific Plate relative to North America primarily causes right lateral slip across the major faults, but also causes deformation between the major faults. The ongoing complex deformation field is revealed by modern geodetic surveys and earthquake pattern as well as the regional geologic structure. The earthquake is located at the eastern shore of San Pablo Bay between two major active fault systems, the Hayward Rogers Creek Fault System on the west and the Concord Green Valley Fault System on the east. The earthquake occurred near the well-known West Napa Fault and the less well-known Carnorius Franklin Falls, which juxtapose different suits of rocks. Although there are several faults in the region of the earthquake, only the West Napa Fault is known to have displaced Holocene 8 sediment, which is positive evidence of surface fault rupture in the last 11,000 years. Thousands of earthquakes occur in California each year, providing scientists with clear indications of places where faults cut the Earth's crust. There were 4,895 earthquakes in California between 1974 and 2003 with a magnitude of 3.5 or greater. This quake was the strongest to hit the Bay Area since 1989 when a 6.9 magnitude once struck during the World Series. For more updates, stay tuned with us for its Tomorrow News, Abraham Johnson.